Our place is a community ministry of the United Church and we provide uh, programs and services for people that are living in poverty in, in the Greater Victoria area. We're dealing with uh, people with uh, severe mental health issues, addictions, people that suffer from a lot of trauma and abuse in their life, a wide variety of people that range from late teens, early 20s, to a whole number of people here that are seniors as well. So we're seeing about 600 to 800 people a day here at this facility. We've seen about a 30% jump over the last year in our meals, um, and a lot of that is due to the fact that we have a number of new programs. So we've been really working hard on developing different programs to improve people's situations. So whether it's around education, employment, healthcare, recreation, um, you know, just to make sure that as people come here for, for services that we have the programs that can improve their situations. Shirley began coming to our place as a client. Now she is an employee and a mentor to many people here. Struggling to have, keep my, fa my own family together through addictions. Um, my daughter's a heroin addict, uh, recovering again once more, and I pray for her. Being a sober parent is a big step for me. Like I've been sober before, but not this long to be a parent, grandparent, parent to my granddaughters. My oldest granddaughter 17, my youngest one is five. It'll be four years of being here, yeah. So it's been, it's been a lot of ups and downs and a lot of balance and um, frustration some days, you know. You know, and I use my tools from talking to people that understand and that can give me good, honest advice back. And it's usually here at work, outreach, the minister, my boss, um, people up in the admin. It just gives me that strength that it's okay, I'm not alone. My experience has shown me that if you provide the right environment, the right opportunities and the right support, people's lives can change dramatically. And so we're, to help, we're here to help transform those lives. Our place offers skills training so people can improve their chances of finding work. They also hire their own graduates and encourage them to keep upgrading their education. And I, I love my job here. It's, um, given me a lot of life skills and abilities. I've done some courses here. I've done a non nonprofit business training course just this past fall. And I improved in a lot of areas in my life for my work experience in that and understanding. Our place has over 40 rooms of permanent housing to help people stabilize their housing. People can stay for up to three years. And we have a team of four residential support workers and a mental health and addictions clinician that are just focused on the residents. So they get them on medications for mental health issues, they deal with addictions, and then it's, it's life skills. You know, it's about doing laundry and bathing and cleaning and getting along with other people and how men should treat women and just all of those, you know, basic skills that uh, most of us have had, had role models in our lives to be able to, you know, to, to gain those skills. What we try to do is make sure that when they leave here, that they're able to maintain their own accommodation somewhere and, uh, and not end up back on the street. But we, we couldn't do this work without the church. Um, the Mission and Service Fund is extremely important in the work we do and, and we're, we, we're so grateful for that support. And it's so important for us to be grounded in the church and for the church to be grounded for us because we're doing this work on behalf of the church. This is, what, this is, this is why we're here. You know, it comes from our plate, from a place of faith, and you know, the the mission and service fund is is deeply important in, in, in everything we do here. So I'm extremely grateful.